my god. Where do you get this from? You have one too. Why are you asking me like, you know, how fun yourself? I mean, I have it. <laughs> you know what? You got me there, alright? You got me there. I, I, I'm not gonna... Just because you have eidolons of characters doesn't mean you have to click them. You choose when you decide to get the UN. Just because you got an extra ram mate doesn't mean you have to click it all the way. I don't have my slave like you to men pick for me. Hi, this is Sweetily. Welcome to Mr. Pokey Account Audit. Subscribe! Hey guys, Mr. Pokey here, back with another video. And on today's episode of Account Audit, uh, we have with us here Sweetie Lee, or is it Sweet Lee? Yo, please correct me if I'm wrong. Just call me, you can just call me Ariel or Sweetie. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Ariel? Okay, okay, yeah, Ariel yeah. works, Ariel. Yeah, yeah, okay. So today uh, we have with us Ariel, um, uh, amazing, amazing VTuber from the Hongkai Star Rail category. So yeah, go ahead and, and say, say some. Yep, yep, yep. Hello YouTube, hello chat. I guess it would be YouTube chat. Hello everyone. This is Sweetily. I mostly stream. <laughs> I'm excited to to Mr. Poke says he's gonna cook me today. I'm excited to see what kind of meals he has prepared today. Okay, first of all, I've never said that. Um, uh, that's just no. I've never said that. It's just um, uh, there's no cooking. It's just you know we're just we're just gonna have a you know casual conversation, talk about Star Rail, right. talk about your account. <laughs> Yeah, we, we could talk okay. about and uh, uh, honestly we can talk about anything so like now nah, there, 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 we're not gonna like <laughs> roast um i feel that like for accounts that i i would really want to cook you know like guide maker accounts like guava certified or like breast phone oh my god dude i'm, I'm I'll, I'll actually cook them because they're, 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 they're guide makers you know so I, I gotta hold them to like a higher standard so so like yeah yeah we're, 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 we're just gonna have a, have a chill day yeah Okay. Okay, yo, so <laughs> Ariel, first of all, how how do you come up with like sweetly slash Ariel? Like what's the law behind your your your, your name? It's actually just based off sort of like Panacone's theme. It was sweet dreams and then I liked sweet dreams, so instead of dreamily I decided to go with sweetily. It's oh. actually <laughs> I okay, like our, okay. it was, it was, it was like, I think originally because I like the phrase sweet dreams and then I just decided to tack on a Lily at the end. A lot of people pronounce it like Lily though, but it's more like Lily. sweet, sweet Lily or Ariel. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, is Ariel like your, your actual English name or it's just like the lore? That's my it? nickname. Oh, your nickname is Ariel. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Damn, okay, interesting. So were, were you happy to, have you, have you finished the story in, in Panicone? Yeah, I did. I did the story and then I did the Black Swan companion quest and then some of the oh, side I haven't finished that one. I saw you also, yeah. you also did Yeah, 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 I did. Are you a story enjoyer or do you like just, just space bar and skip everything? I'm a story enjoyer. So you like, you actually like read through everything that, that they throw you? Yeah. How was I your... read through our text and then I, I also like to watch the, the lore videos afterwards <laughs> about all the speculations. Wait, you, wait, what, what, what do you mean the lore? The... The, the lore, lore videos? Like on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Like on additional YouTube lore? and then... Because uh, there are a lot of content creators that collect, put together stuff from, let's say... Oh, books, okay, okay. In game yeah, yeah, yeah. or some random dialogue for some for some random NPC, but it actually predicts the future of what's going to happen. Those types of Do you content. have any recommended lore, lore tubers? I only know X go solo. I think he's pretty good. I think Blue Cat? And then I watch a lot of the trending Bilibili videos in Chinese. Oh, you, you watch Bilibili like a lot more than YouTube or like? Yeah, I watch Bilibili a lot more than YouTube. Oh, oh my god, yo. Okay, wait, wait. Are you a, like a meta player or do you just like play for fun? Uh, I'm probably a mix of everything. I like the story. I sometimes go for meta plays player. <laughs> I would categorize myself as a little bit of everything. What's your like favorite content on 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 Billy Billy? Like the stuff that you generally watch. I don't actually watch that much content lately. I've been watching a lot of. I think my whole feed is mm -hmm. just Firefly videos. Firefly AMV. Firefly this. Oh. Firefly that. I think I've watched so many uh, different mm -hmm. videos of Firefly. I'm uh deep in the fire. Are you are a you firefly? Are train. you depressed with her with her ending? No, I'm fine. She's You're fine. Good? Why she's would fine? I be depressed? I just I just miss her. So she she she's fine, right? Like she's still alive, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure she's still alive in my heart and a lot of other people's hearts, if nothing okay. else. 
Okay, like, okay, but for real, for real, do you really think Firefly is alive, like, in game? Like, for real, for real? I think so. Because I feel like, well, especially after watching some of the lore theories, there was this one that was saying, if you remember when we first got off the train when Pom Pom was telling us about the things to do in Pentaconia was... Nope, but just f please remind me again. But one of the lines was, do make sure it was something about doing the impossible in the dreams. So uh, the theory is that Firefly and potentially a Robin, they need to... What's impossible in the dreams? Everybody seems to tell us what's well, impossible to die in the dream world. So to actually get closer to the Watchmaker's legacy, you have to ascend to the next level by trying to kill yourself by dying, so to speak. Which is impossible or thought of as impossible in the dream. And it might not just be a regular death. Because regularly people die, they wake up. But maybe if the dream monster kills you, you get sent to the deeper level of this dream world. Because we haven't really learned much about the Watchmaker, Michelle, Misha. So there's this whole theory about how Firefly and Robin. Robin as representation of the family and Firefly as representation of, if you've read into the uh, Sam theories, representing our Stellaron Hunter faction potentially. I'm gonna be completely honest. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, no. <laughs> but the thing is I think though, that makes a lot of sense. No, but the thing is... I actually read the story for the most part. Like for the first time in my life, I actually sat down. I said, "Okay, I'm gonna read the two point story." And none of what you said gave me like I have absolutely no recollection of any of those things being said. Like, when was this? When did this even happen? The 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 first part I think was right before we got off the train, and Pom Pom was like, "I have three things to tell you guys." One was like there are three nameless that departed the train many years ago when they first visited the planet. And then one of the speculations is the watchmaker that everyone is looking for was one of the nameless that left the train back in the day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I think the other, the other message was like, try to find, try to do the impossible in the dreams. So that's how the speculation came about that. Maybe to do the impossible in dreams, the dying is like technically impossible, so... So, if people die in Panacony, they get transcended to a higher... I think it might be, a, I think it might be dying in a special way. Because normally we, we hear about if you die or if you get hit, you just wake up. But maybe if you were to die in a certain way, in this case, by the meme, <laughs> the memory zone meme. Like if you were to find the secret, because the memory zone meme only exists in that special zone, right? People don't normally go into that zone, it's under maintenance. So the theory is that if you're able to find the special zone, the memory zone meme, and then you were to die to this thing called something onto death, it will transcend, it will ascend you deeper. It's kind of like an inception. But in an inception, you kill yourself to go above, go one level above. Here, you kill yourself to go one level below, to go closer to the truth. And it's almost like this whole quest does remind me a bit of like a like this watchmaker's legacy. It reminds me of like a quest of like someone dying and then trying to find like a certain successor. So it's kind of like the watchmaker is this mysterious figure who we don't know much about, but theories are he is an old nameless who left the train and he is trying to find someone worthy of his so-called legacy. <laughs> Sorry uh, if I've lost you. Nah, man, it, it's all good. It's um. <laughs> Because, okay, my, my understanding of the story is that, or at least why I think Firefly isn't dead, is just because um, it's way too early. Like, there's no way Mihoyo creates a, creates a new unit with, like, backstory and everything and kill them off in, like, yeah, one definitely. single story. That, that's the only reason why I think Firefly is not dead. But mm -hmm. now that he's mentioned all this, like, you know, transcending into a higher place, Watchmaker and everything, then, um, yeah, that's... It's... Yeah, and I feel like if you remember that moment before Firefly disappeared, she clenched her fists and people were saying, what? I can't <laughs> believe it. She, she probably had the power to fight back against something unto death, but she chose not to because she's trying to ascend. So now there was that distinct moment where she had the determined look on her face and then she she was like, I want to do this, but then she saw she saw the trailblazer and then she's like, oh, I can't. Are you sure it's not because she's in absolute physical pain? That's why she was clenching her fist. No, like, oh it God, looked I'm like dying. a determined... I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I, could, 
<laughs> that could be. But my interpretation at the time too was she 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 clenched her fist and then she was like she it felt like there was a moment where she felt like she was going to fight back, but then she saw the trailblazer and then she was like, I can't do that, I can't reveal XYZ, I can't reveal my true identity or I can't reveal <laughs> what my plan is. But I do feel like the she, she we're, we're we're gonna see her. Oh, and then there's also this other theory about how Robin is also not. Oh yeah, Robin. Right. Um, okay. It, to me, I didn't no really care about. Actually. I didn't really care about Robin because like we we legit only got like what five minutes of screen time, like with her talking. Like I I I don't even know who she was, and it's just suddenly died out of nowhere. I think that was like that was not a good writing in my opinion. But but yeah. Yeah, I feel like they set up. They they pretty much laid a lot of ground found foundation, or maybe they like in, in, implanted a lot of a uh, seed of doubt and everything into everyone's mind, and then it's all a setup. Yeah. I think they're probably we're probably not gonna learn the truth till two point two point three because the quest goes on till two point three. Okay, can can you explain a little bit more about the Sam and Firefly theory? Because I think I I've heard this theory going around like quite frequently actually. I think those are just from watching the investigating the previous videos they posted, like the one where with White Knight. Where if you, I don't know if you remember that scene where if Sam comes out for a brief second and then he has wings that look kind of like fireflies colors. They look kind of like fireflies too. People were saying the White Knight video that had the Sam footage. But how can they be the same person? It's like completely I don't, Oh, like I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm not sure about the same or how the exact relation of Sam and Firefly. Oh. I do feel like they are, they are related based on the White, the... Why night video that was it's not it's not a leak it's the official public video yeah 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 yeah. it's not a leak it's not a leak we're just we're just like uh, theory crafting theory crafting law essentially are you gonna be pulling for for sim mm -hmm. oh, yeah, actually, his oh, battle yeah, music not... was really sick i feel like i spent one hour in that fight during the quest you spent one hour in that the fight sam battle music was so fire it was so great oh yeah, it, the it, BGM, it, yeah it really was are you a, are you a gundam person do, do, do you have gun do you build gundams not particularly, but I appreciate them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh yeah, okay. It, it's it's funny how you how you mentioned this because like, I was just about to ask you. Um, so I I guess this is kind of pertaining to the actual account audit. Are you a are you a free to play or light spinner or a whale? I'm a uh, fun to play. <laughs> I go by how I'm feeling about each character at the time I'm playing. Okay. <laughs> Um, so what's what do you define as fun? If I wake up that day and I think, uh, oh, I'm just gonna drop want. twenty thousand dollars today because it's it's fun today, and then like, no, well, there's a there's a limit. So it's fun to gamble. And how depending on how Chad is playing or not playing, depending on how Chad is feeling about. <laughs> sometimes I think I I have a system where depending on who how many subs there are, I will do polls on the banner. Oh shit! So. So for example, if like a, okay, like for example, if someone like I don't know, like give you like a hundred subs, would you like do like a hundred pulls or something like this? No, it's usually RNG. I usually spin a wheel, and then if it lands on pulls, oh, sometimes you have, I have, a, you have an actual like a like a like a spin spin. Uh huh, like a spin spin. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's that's, that's right. Okay, that's actually quite interesting. So do you pull for? Okay, wait. You know what? I'm just gonna take a look. What characters do you actually not have? So every character is fun. I create content. As a content creator on Honkai Star Rail, you have to right. grab your characters. How else are you going to create content if you don't right, know Right, right. Honestly, you're absolutely right. So like, it's not you're not pulling for your own account, but you're pulling for chat, right? So that you can give them content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that sounds absolutely fair. Um, okay. Do you do stamina refreshes? Mm -hmm. How many times do you do a day? Two to three. Okay, okay. I think that sounds that sounds pretty relatable for the most part. Do you dump them all in like relics or do you like dump them on traces? How, how do you invest your, your roster essentially? Mostly relics. Mostly relics. So I'm going to see 800 over here. Holy sh! You cleared everything! Uh, except for the stagnant shadows. I'm starting to think this is a... This is not just a, a fun to play account. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Okay, I'll see what you mean, right? Okay, okay, you know what? I, I, I'm just gonna go in right now. I, I'll just start with the islands first. Would I be surprised at anything? Uh, probably. Okay. 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 Wait, who's your f favorite character? My favorite character in Star Wars Firefly. But she's not here. <laughs> she's not. She, she's in my heart. 
Everyone else I like. Slightly different varying degrees. Okay, okay. Okay, you want Rame, huge. Okay. Okay, you want Fushun. E2 Silver Wolf, okay. How do you get him to E5? I have only have mostly lost to Walt on the limited banner. You must have lost a lot of 50-50s then. I think I checked my polls. I traded for my first vault with my 300 and then oh my God, okay. I lost okay. the rest, I think. I might have gotten one on standard, but I'm not sure. Like, do you wear oh. on standard banner or you just only do limited? Limited? You only do limited and, and Will just decides I... to like haunt you. I think I did a couple in the very, very, very beginning of the game on standard. Okay, okay, makes sense. Oh my god, but by the way, you know Welt's E6 is insane. Mm-hmm. It's like Welt's really, E2 really is good. already pretty good. Yeah, How's yeah, yeah, yeah. E2 is E2 E6. He's E6 really just turns into like yes. a, a completely different unit, yeah. Because he can two turn ulti, that's huge. He can oh already god. two turn, but then his E6, he can do so much damage. Yo, genuinely, I feel like you're like smarter than 50% of my chat. I, I think people don't even know what Well, what, what well does. Like for, for, for. Well, Walt's not really worth building, I think, until E2+. Plus. Um, yeah, I, I can kind of agree with that. Yeah. At this point of the game, yeah, I can kind of agree with that. Am I going to be yeah. surprised by like an E6 Branya or something? No, my Branya, I've, I've got my one Branya from <laughs> my okay. beginner banner, and then my other Branya was, I think, in the first month I got from Damn. Standard. And then okay. I, didn't, I didn't get another Branya after. I mean, E1 is pretty good. I mean, E2, most of the time, you wouldn't really even make use of this E2 that much. Because, like... The E2 is pretty nice for Blade, though. Yeah, it's pretty nice for Blade, but, like, most of the time, you kind of still want the DPS to be faster. Because, like, for example, if you run Blade as a slow Blade because of this E2 speed buff, you still miss that first turn, you know? Like, initially, it was, like, one three, you know the one three five one three four thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you know. <laughs> Mina doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, but anyways, yeah, so like, so because of this 135134 thing, your blade gets to go four times on the very first round. But because of this this E1, uh, E2, and then you drop blade to like HP boots, he will miss out like one turn, which it might not even be what you want. Like sometimes you might still just want blade to be faster than Brian just for the extra one turn on the very first cycle you get. Yeah, I can see, especially if you're going for your zero turns. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Uh, anyways, yo, what's this, man? What's what's what? You have an E one Argentine that's unactivated. Yeah, like I was saying the other time, just because you have eidolons of characters doesn't mean you have to click them. You choose when you decide to get the U one. You don't let the banner tell you. Just because you got an extra ram mate doesn't mean you have to click it all the way. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, so why why do you not activate? Argentis E1. I think I like to try out each Eidolon as they come for the most part. I feel like going directly to E1, E2 of the DPS spoils me a little bit. I don't really know how it feels to have a E0. So for most, a lot of characters, I like to stay E0. Even if somehow I end up getting more Eidolons. And then, and then I can decide to power up and have a different experience. I don't have to wait for the banner to return. When I'm feeling like it's not strong enough or I want to try out the U1, I can click on E1. And then I'll have a different character, especially for characters like Danhen, you'll see. Because <laughs> the E2, because the E2 playstyle is so different from E0. But I wanted to play the E0 Danhen for a while. And then I wanted to eventually try out the E2. But I didn't want to necessarily wait for him to come back. I think you're the only person in the entire world that thinks this way. <laughs> wow, that is <laughs> impressive, impressive self-control. It's like having the infinity gauntlet. And not using the infinity gauntlet because you wanna you wanna you wanna walk by feet. I feel like it makes you appreciate the characters more. Cause if you just go to E2 and then you experience the E2 and then you say, Oh yeah, my downhand's broken, and the other people are like, But well, my Israel downhand doesn't feel that. And then you're thinking, Well, I, I never tried because if you never tried the E0, how are you gonna relate to other people talking about their E0s <laughs> if your whole life well not 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 specifically trying to call you out or anything? But uh that was just when that was just an example because the E2 is such a game changer for for Dang. <laughs> I wanted to sort of exper experience the E0 and then eventually I'll try the E2. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I can, yeah, I can, I can see that. I, I guess my my counterpoint is um, I like to be efficient with time, 
so that whenever I want to do like simulated universe or like if I, when I want to pick mints by killing the ah, mobs, yeah, that's then, like, where my blade comes in. The blade sucks in the simulated universe, but you'll see about my blade. Okay. I picked one character. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll get there. All right, let's go with Jingyu. How's Jingyu, by the way? Holy shit! My Jingyu has been pretty strong. I've liked him. Um, he too Himiko. Okay, 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 okay. This is cause you're based. Huh. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, uh, yo, what, what's going on here? I thought it was really cool how Blade could heal with his E6. He can solo MOC 9 and 10 on a lot of the previous MOCs back when they were not as difficult and not as full of debuffs and dots. Right. But I liked, I liked Blade's mechanic. I thought it was pretty unique. And sort of what you said, I also like to be efficient. So I picked a character, and then I decided to invest. I wouldn't say getting an E6 is being efficient, considering that an E6 is probably like $20,000 million. I don't know, that's just me though. And then it makes me more relatable to other people who have E6s. Oh, I, don't, I, don't feel like, oh. I feel like a lot of the times there's a lot of... Mm. Whale shaming, or people are made to feel bad because I they have know, Eidolons. right? Yeah, that's ridiculous. I feel, like it's fine. I feel like it's fine to have Eidolons. I have, I have my E zero characters. I have my E six. I feel like I like to try to try to step in the shoes of every type. A lot of different people. So you want to be relatable to everyone. So you just have like you cater and to not them. even be relatable, but just understand where they're coming from. Wow, you're so you're you're you're, you're too nice to your chat. <laughs> You, I said, like, no matter what you do, there's always a way to say that you're unrelatable. So you might as well just be unrelatable. Or you can just say, I might be unrelatable in this way, but I'm relatable in this other way. Or you can... I feel like it's not even... <laughs> you don't have to be too concerned, I guess, too, about being re too relatable or unrelatable. Right, you just have right. fun playing the game. Exactly. But anyways, um, are you sure it's not because of... You know, look, look at his look at his back. His huge back and his... <laughs> Seductive eyes. I did really it. like the Blade trailer. I think his trailer and Kafka's, those two are probably my top two. His trailer the trailers. and Kafka's. The Black Swan trailer was pretty good too. I really like the Blade and the Kafka trailer. That oh. patch with the two character trailers was really good. It's not because he, he rizzed you up with his jaw cutting jawline. No. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, you have an E3, Clara? Yeah, I love Clara. Oh my god, you, you have I've so lost? many idolins. It's kind of crazy. Do you I lose a lot? To, uh, I lose a decent amount. Not as much as I lose in Genshin. <laughs> Star Rail has actually been nicer to me, I think, in the 50-50 wins. Uh, do, do you enjoy the game? Do you still play Genshin, actually? Yeah, I play Genshin. Do you pick mints? No. <laughs> you don't pick... <laughs> um... Um okay, you <laughs> There's this emote I have in my channel. It's the curse of Pokey. I, I know, I heard you curse people with Bilo E2s if they don't subscribe to you. <laughs> Which is right now, if you don't subscribe, I will cast the curse of Pokey and, 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 and it's Jover for you, <laughs> right? Genuinely. And as well as if you don't subscribe to Sweetly right now. For those of you guys who are watching the stream, so I will be casting Curse of Pokey to you, right? But, um, okay, the, I, and I genuinely have no idea why this keeps happening. Because, like, I, I don't know, I think there was this one viewer summer session. I pulled three Pailus back to back to the point where the dude had an E8 Pailu at the end of the day. He was a whale. But it was just ridiculous. And, and then after that, I pulled a Pailu light code. And I just don't know why it keeps happening. <laughs> So like uh, sometimes the the luck just works out that way too. I know what you mean. But I do I do manage to give him like a lot of good pulls though. E six S five. Usually I get it for him in like eight hundred to eight fifty, which is pretty normal, right? That's a, a pretty, pretty good number. Right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a pretty good number, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you know, you you win some, you lose some. Anything under a thousand, I feel like is pretty lucky for E six S five. Because I do I do viewer E six S five pulls too. I think my best was six six hundred. Plus, oh my god, that's that was pretty insane. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, that's actually worst, insane. My worst is like over a thousand, well, over a thousand. Well, the, the most recent Black Swan E6 S5. Oh, no. This is your oh, pose. No. Probably the most 
unluckiest. My child likes to say this viewer sacrificed his luck for all my other viewer polls that day. Does the guy still follow you? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, he, his last message in my chat was, what was it? It was about how he's pretending to not see what happened when I logged into the next viewer poll. And then I think I got it early right away. He was like, I'm happy for you in parentheses, definitely not salty or something like that. And then, and then, and then he stopped talking. Yeah, and then I haven't <laughs> seen him after. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Minus one follower. Ain't no way. Hope this doesn't happen again. Um, Hope okay. so too. Yeah. No. You want Yanqing? Yanqing. Okay, honestly, I feel like your pools, they look not too bad. Like, you don't have like an insane amount of idolins on like shitty units. Like, respectfully, like Yan Qing, Japart, Bai Lu. Yeah, like the idols you actually have, they're actually pretty decent. Like, Clara's E6 is like insane. This, this yeah, is I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah, when I actually get this, it's, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be absolutely insane. Uh, as well mm -hmm. as for like, well, so like, yeah, you're almost there already, so like, oh, we get it. Yeah. Do you think, actually, you, oh my god, speaking of this, do you, what, what do you expect of like, Hongai Star Rails, um, anniversary rewards? Like, what, what, are you, what, are you, what are you hoping for? Hard to say, given that we just had, I feel like they've, they've went above and beyond already, the free ratio, and then we got right. 20 pulls. I'm expecting, well, for sure, there's the base temples. I'm uh -huh. guessing they'll probably tack on. They'll either tack on another temples, because I uh -huh. feel like they have to at least match Pentacony yep. patch. Yep. And then people were saying maybe standard selector, that would be pretty sick. If they if they either just reset or if they added like a like two counts, like you can trade for two characters after you go to six hundred poles in standard. Oh my or god, please oh even, there's no <laughs> That would be really that, nice. No, that would be f no. <laughs> Because I spent, because the moment I hit 300, I'm like, okay, nope. I'm just gonna dump every single one of my standard tickets whenever I get oh, no. in. They would, they would keep track. Like, oh, they, they would keep track. They would keep track. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They know okay. how much you pulled, right? So I think yeah, if, yeah, they were yeah, to, yeah. if they were to add it in, but keep track of how many you've done total. So if you already hit 600 plus, you would be able to redeem it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or like they, a retroactive thing. Yeah, yeah. Because so, they have the data, mm. so. Yeah, absolutely. So like, so basically, we, we'll, we'll screw the min pickers, right? So that uh, I think that's good. That is a good update. Um, what do you think about the light cone? Do you think they're gonna give us like a free light cone? Like they're gonna give us a five star unit selector, as well as a five star light cone selector. I feel like they would only give one or the other. I don't think they would give both. Uh, unlikely, but possible. Maybe they'll only give us a light cone selector and no character selector. Damn. Okay, I, I genuinely hope they give a character selector. Cause like, I hope so too. Yeah, like <laughs> the only Bronya. good light coins like Bronya star coin essentially. So like. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Speaking of light coins, um, uh, let, let, let's let's see what what what, what, what light coins do you have? Um, uh, okay. Do you pull for every single signature? Uh, no, I shit. don't. Oh, you didn't pull for Zeus as one. Okay. I did. It's just not on her right now. Oh. Okay. Okay, so who do you not have a signature for? Oh my god, where do you get this from? You have one too. Why are you asking me like, you know, how to find yourself? I mean, I have it. <laughs> you know what? You got me there, all right? You got me there. I, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything, all right? You got me there. All right, let, let's move on. <clears throat> oh, you didn't get Argenti's light cone. Yeah, I didn't get Argenti's light cone. Okay, okay. I mean, I mean, it's fair. I, I think light cone is kind of niche and having like before dawn and um, this thingy. Are you gonna yeah, try I didn't to go for I didn't go for ratios like Kona either, even though it's really good for him, oh. but only <laughs> only for him. All right. Um, wait. Are you trying to get like an S five Himego like one, or or what's going on here? No, it's the same as my idol Andre. I'm deciding if I want to superimpose sometime. Oh, or like you, as in like you Himego. you didn't buy them from shop? Like oh no, just, I didn't buy them. Didn't or they just happened to be in your account? Yeah, I got three back to back like cones on the standard banner. <laughs> I'm a light cone. I pulled a, I pulled so many light cones on the standard banner. I found out through personal experience, you can lose to, you can get three light cones back to back on the standard banner. I thought it was impossible because in Genshin, you can only get two. You're guaranteed a character after getting two light cones and vice versa. But here you're not guaranteed. Maybe well, after three, you're guaranteed. From personal experience, that's how I got my S5 Japart light cone. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say your S5, Brian. Like, no, 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 my S5 Japan Lycon. And the curious part is, I literally didn't buy a single copy of this Lycon from the shop in my entire life. And somehow I managed to get S5. And I don't even I know. Do why. Rem I do remember. Oh my god, dude. But like, yeah, the standard, the standard banner is bogus, man. But yeah, I get you. I get yeah. you. Um, Just pull it. Wait, why do you have an S2? Lucky? One, one, te one single tempo? Probably got lucky. I think I got this during the first silly banner. Right, right. Okay, okay. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why I have an S2. Holy shit! Okay, you know what? We're gonna get to the build later. Alright, we're gonna get to the build later. Okay. Um, okay. It's cool. 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 Oh, you didn't get for S5? You say it's S5? I don't, I don't have any S5s. Oh, okay, okay. Why then? Feels like Waste having one copy of the light cone. Yeah, it's pretty. It's good enough. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Fair, fair, fair. Fair light cone. Uh huh. Because blade uh -huh. E6, I feel like is a transformational item. Oh yeah, the light absolutely. cone is just extra stats. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's absolutely. a bit different. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay. Oh wow, S one. Okay, okay, okay. I lose light cone. Okay, okay. Traces. I really, really want to look at your gears because I, I just saw your Scylla. It looks, she looks absolutely insane, but... Okay, anyways. Um... Oh, you missed her. Oh, okay, okay. Ellen. Okay. 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 Who would you say are like your most used units? Our support Branya, I think uh -huh. I had the most number of Branya because they had that little yeah 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 same same same. Started, yeah, yeah, yeah. same 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 same. Branya teaming, I think I'll use Rocha a lot. I use Rocha more than in. more than Hui Hui or Fushun. Now I use Huo Huo. Now I bring our Huo Huo and then Fushun around. Insane, insane. Oh my god! I just realized you are like the first person that can actually like say say her name right, like. Ho ho, cause like everyone else is like you know like, don't say like. <laughs> cool, yeah, I like, I like her. I like her original name better. Ho, ho. I like ho, ho. I yeah. see, I see. Okay, but I really like calling her Huang Huang. I feel like I just got infected <laughs> by chat because like she's like a cry baby, you know, and she keeps crying and like Huang Huang. Like, it fits her character. That's why I kind of got like infected. Like, the the Huang Huang brain. Rot, I remember so. you mentioning. Yeah, 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 yeah. But okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. Let, let's just take a look into your builds because uh, the Sila just now looks kind of insane. All right. Kafka. Hey. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 This two gears is actually insane. Um. Are you gonna consider changing her to use Glamoth or you're just gonna uh, screw it and just use space here? If I get a Glamoth piece, I think I don't I don't have a single line to be here. It's time to it's time farm, Glamoth. It's time farm. Wait, hold up. Do you have it? You have so many! Wait, what was the I dungeon that you found a... the most now? Lately I've been farming a lot of Ascension trace materials. For Sparkle? Mm-hmm. Okay, but I, like... I was farming the prisoner set for Kafka, Black Swan. Oh, okay, okay. So like, okay, okay, okay. So like before this, it was like, it was just basically all in Prisoner. What is your next set that you're going to be farming? I wanted to try my luck in the new debuff set. Oh, <laughs> See yo, how same, same. I, I really, I really started. How is your, how is your luck? Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to save the trouble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, have you ever started farming or having it? No, I farm like once, uh, once in a while. Okay. Oh, this actually, this might be pretty good, you know? Attack, crit rate, okay. Oh, this actually really, really is possible, right? Defense with break effect. Okay. Yeah, pretty much my situation, which is basically everything is just, <laughs> everything is just dog shit. <laughs> oh, but you only farm a little bit, so like, it's not that bad, right? Yeah. And I think the only thing I will change is, 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 uh, is this to Glamour, man. I, I think everything else is, 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 is pretty good. Black Swan. Okay. Oh, you actually got an IPC? Mm hmm You farmed it or you like, you I strong, <laughs> strong boxed it. <laughs> I think it was the only thing I strong boxed in the recent times. Damn. Okay. I mean, it's worth it. Yeah. This this, this domain is absolutely. I actually, I uh -huh. know. It actually had attack percent and effect here, Brandon. Yeah, I know. It is what it is. You know. 
It could have been everything. Okay, but do you know that Black Swan does more damage with like attack percentage sphere? You could just try again. She does what? She does more damage with attack percentage sphere. Cause like she has so so many damage. No, in not, her kit. not not necessarily. I calculated it out. Depending on if you're using Shampoo's Light Cone or Black Swan's signature light cone. Shampoo's light cone gives a lot of bonus damage. Black Swan's light cone gives attack percent. And then depending on which characters you're using, it's not a hundred percent attack sphere. But you are running her with Run May, right? So like uh -huh. you you get like a ton no, of even, damage even with Rame. Yeah, I calculated the Rame buffs in too. Holy shit, wow, really? Mm -hmm. That might be a It's it's definitely better if you're always I think if you're always running with Rame and you're on S5 shampoo's light cone, because that gives bonus damage. Black Swan's light cone doesn't give it gives you um attack percent. I mean and okay, technically it does damage. give you damage because of the EHR. So this is like 40% damage, uh, indirectly. Kind oh of. yeah, Shampoo's Lycon gives you that too though. And then it gives you a bunch of <laughs> bonus damage. So it really dilutes the bonus damage multiplier. Huh. Do you happen to have an attack sphere that, that we can try? I'm actually quite curious. I don't think I have one on IPC. Can oh check. my god, and the, okay. And the main, the, main the main benefit of Wind Sphere, I think it comes down to your substat rolls. Because you can roll oh, attack yeah. percent on yeah, Wind Sphere. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. can roll. <laughs> You can't roll a wind bonus damage on an attack sphere. So mine happen to have attack percent, so... Okay, okay. Damn. The more you know. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, I, I didn't close, though. It, It's pretty close. It depends on your rolls, too. Wait, okay, so sweetly, genuinely, I feel like you should just review my account again. <laughs> and then this time, we'll, we'll go on YouTube. <laughs> Man, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I'm going, I'm going, but okay, okay. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll continue first. How do you how do you find Black Swan Sova? She's pretty fun. She's really fun to use and uh why are you why are you laughing? And 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 simulated universe. Why are you laughing? No, I I I like to laugh. I have a lot of fun. I like to laugh. Oh, you're having fun. You can ask you can ask my chat. I always laugh a lot on stream. Oh, okay, interesting. Um well, I, I think in my case there was also I didn't have another choice because I don't have an attack percent sphere. So I would have to almost I would have to go self-modeling resin. But oh, I think yeah, in my yeah. particular case, uh -huh. when I tried it out, it was better. Because I also, I, I did have VHR and attack on my sphere. Okay, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it's always just about like opportunity cost. And like, whichever you have more, then you just have mm -hmm. like, yeah, in this, in this case, you have 155, 156 HP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my rolls are sad. Uh, it is. Uh, you, you try it, you try it, you know, you try it. Okay, run me. I swear to God, it is not copium. To run a slow run me. Please tell me. Ah, I'm I heard. Right. Yeah, I heard. I heard. <laughs> I heard Mina saying you were coping with this. Yeah, I, I can't believe she said that. It's like, why? Oh, it's like, so good. She was like, you were just coping. You couldn't roll any speed rolls, so you gotta make this work. <laughs> okay, so no, I need you to no, tell me it, that slow run me is good. It is, it is good, especially for your zero turn clears. Take that, Mina. Okay, but anyways. Okay, fantastic. That's all, that's, that's basically all I want to hear. Um, do you have a slow run, or you just find better with just like a fast one? Because like, you don't really want to care about like, all the kind of, like, I, like, I had a good hacker space set. So I just put it on the fastish break hacker space Rame set. Oh my god! Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, Holy I got, shit, I got yeah. really lucky on this. Space. Yeah, that, that's actually insane. Holy shit, that's insane. Um. Yeah, you have like break on every single row for your them, and it's like what two? Because uh, you know what, what, what you know what set is on the other side for the hacker space, it's hacker space, and oh. longevous. And you know who uses longevous four piece? Oh, I blade. <laughs> yeah, I farmed a lot of longevous and hacker space. Damn. Okay, you, you can definitely find a better one here. It's on its way there. Yeah, our ropes are hard. No, no, no the, 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 the sphere, the sphere. <laughs> The sphere. Oh, the sphere. Yeah. I think an ERR rope, like 99% of the population can never really change what they get. This kind of like, if life gives you lemons and just yeah. make use of lemonade, you can't really change. Yeah, what, pretty, yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. much. It's just too difficult, but yeah, this. Do you know, oh my God, wait, since you watch BB, did, did you, have you seen this like Billy Billy video where they did like a statistic distribution for a number of main stats and sub stats that you could get on a gear? Yeah, it's really rare to get energy. Yeah, like ERR rope is like um, the, it's like, what? Break an ER, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's like, right? wow, that, that is yeah. absolutely crazy. So, like, the, the odds were already against in the first place, and including the subs. So, like, the speed subs are, like, even more rare than crit subs. So, like, trying to get an ER rope with speed sub is, like, is, like, pretty much impossible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, insane, insane. Hoi, hoi. 
Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, why panic on you? Because I play her with the blade. And I think she... I just happened to have the Yar. I think I ran out of... Do you made another one recently. Von I mean, Von would be pretty good, right? Von Wick. Oh, I just don't farm it that much. Oh my god. Yo, you have some really, really good gears, man. Are you sure you only refresh three times a day? Oh my uh, god. Um, <laughs> um, um, I've been, I, I've been playing since day one. Uh-huh. That doesn't really answer the question. <laughs> I don't refresh that much. Okay, you know what? We'll just keep it as a, you know what? Uh, a, a decent amount of refresh, right? A decent amount of refresh. Uh, we we'll just leave it as that. Anyways, yeah, this weapon looks really, really good as well. 160. But I think one one uh -huh. thing is I, I always love up all my hacker space pieces. Or I try to. A lot of my nine speed actually came from the three lines. That was like no speed sub stats at all. Oh. And then the fourth line leveled into speed. And then it actually leveled up. Do you plus I 15 or one. do you do like one by one? One by one. Will you ever do plus 15? Uh, if, if they have good sub stats directly. Okay, okay. What if it's like a, a DPS piece with one line of crit? I think it depends on how my other pieces are. If I'm trying to upgrade, or if I'm if this is my first set, like if I'm farming the debuff set for ratio, right. I would probably level up a single crit piece. Just to like. But it also by. depends on how many, how how long I need to, how long I plan to farm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Pretty fair. Pretty fair. Oh my god! Wait, how do you have this? Yo, Ariel. Is that a lot? How do I see that? I feel like I log into my viewers' accounts and then they have. They nah, have like nah, a nah, 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 <laughs> you, have you should see some of my viewer accounts. They have like 4,000, 5,000 blue dust and then over a thousand purple dust. Okay, you're, you're directing my attention away from your account and that's not gonna work. Uh, that's not gonna work here. <laughs> Um, you have 600 over purples, 800 over blues, you have uh, 1,300 gold relics, and 5,510 relic remains. Yo, Ariel, I'm starting to think you're a little bit of a, a, a relic addict, if I can say so myself. I don't, I don't strongbox. I've only strongboxed recently, so I don't use up the relic fragments. Uh -huh. But you really, go, you really go hard on the relics. I feel like my blade... Even though I farmed a lot for him, I didn't get that lucky on the relics. Okay, for me, it was kind of like, like the opposite. Like, I didn't really care about my blade, and like he somehow got like a decent set, so... Um... Okay. Okay. Okay, this fusion looks pretty... Like a pretty normal fusion. A pretty relatable fusion. You have 77 rest? Yeah, I tried to stack the... <laughs> I tried to stack some effect to resist. <laughs> Okay, but why on Fusion? Because she has like the thingy, right? She has the No, because she's weak to the she's weak to the DOTs. So I wanted to try to see if I could get her to hundred or higher so she resists the dots. Cause she's the weakest when you know that your 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 Fusion team feels really bad when everyone is fine, but they all have like five stacks of wind shear on them. <laughs> and actually, then they take so much damage every turn and she takes so much damage. Oh, I actually never noticed, but now they say yeah, it kinda of makes sense. <laughs> um Break effect silver wolf. Fun? Oh my god, imagine damage. <laughs> I mean, it works though, because yeah. like, you, you, you have the speed stops and the brief, and like this thing doesn't really matter that much. So, yeah, like, that, that's how I was saying on your stream the other day. Or, yeah, well, yeah, I was looking yeah, at yeah, your yeah, account. Yeah. I was like, it's legit. If you don't need the HP or the defense, and you happen to have nice speed subs and break, because this actually rolled speed and break effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, 27%. You have some really, really nice relics. I, I, I think I have a good thumbnail for, for, for this account review. Um, <laughs> this VTuber oh. is smarter than all guide makers. And <laughs> insane. Like, I, I think I genuinely think this is a, this is a, this is a really, really good account. And like for most of the time when I do like the account audits, right? Like for example, especially for other content creators, I was trying to, you know, like, like goof around. Right? I, I, I think I gave like Mina an S for Simp. Even though her account is, <laughs> even though her account is not really, really, you know. Clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think this account might genuinely like be an actual S account. So like, yeah. S for Sweetily. Yeah, true. S for Sweetily. Yeah, definitely. definitely. This, one for nice speed, holy shit. Space ceiling? Wait, why space ceiling? 
So I think I have the ER rope and the imaginary orb. Oh, just you, know, you just didn't want to farm more, is that it? He works on space ceiling above his ulti and his skill. But you lose like so much crit though. Oh my god, you have this? Why not just run Rutilant? I don't, I wanted to go for the high speed, <laughs> the high speed ball. I think you don't need the silent speed though. Assist. You have, you still, you still have one four one. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me just try something here. I have a good imaginary orb on Rutilant. Okay, I, I guess just this, right? Because this is the, this is the only one. Yeah. Uh, so maybe we we'll swap him over. His 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 crit stats are kind of sad. I think yeah. maybe if I farm one other reason for farming the new debuff set, maybe I can pull Walt because I don't have a good four piece imaginary. Yeah, no, it's alright. No, it's alright. I think Rainbow I was gonna work on fun. I was gonna work on Walt after if I were to get the E six one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, but by the time you actually reach E six, then you wouldn't really even need to care about the relics, right? Because you're like so bloody strong. So like, kind of like you can kind of compensate for it a little bit. I suppose. Okay, but like your rainbow gears are also like really, really good. Oh, this is like 30, 32. I, like I always 30. love up all the double crit pieces, even if they're on some random set. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's good stuff, man. Um, okay. 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 I think this is a very... St oh my god. Yeah, I think this is a very standard Bronya. Yeah, I just tuned her to my blade and Jingliu. My blade's yeah. a bit faster and Jingliu's a bit yeah. faster. Yeah, I think Bronya's just, they're, they're, they're kind of boring. There's not much to talk about. It's just, just give them this amount of speed. They make your DPS faster and just give them a bunch of crit damage and effect rest. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's pretty standard. But I don't know. Yo, shout out to the S5 Bronya. Insane S5 Bronya. <laughs> I do think but. it is worth trading for if you have the extra. <laughs> yeah, me too. But my chat thinks I, I'm trolling. But anyways, uh, they, can, they, can, they, can, they can have their opinions, right? Um, Argenti, do you use him? Not really. I think I used him a bit when he first came out. Okay, I, I think I think if this if you try to use Argentina, now, he, he I don't think he's gonna have a very good time. He's fun in um pure, pure fiction. fiction. Yeah, in pure fiction is gonna be good. I saw the four piece break effect. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. It, it's Argentina. actually quite fun because you get infinite. yeah, yeah, so much energy from yeah. the yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's actually pretty fun. Insane. He's actually the only one I can just keep ulting with him. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if, okay, what are your thoughts about pure fusion? Because me personally, I think pure fusion right now is just too easy. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense to like theory craft or like, like better comms because like, everything just dies too fast. Yeah, pure fusion right now just feels like if they have... Most people have hurt her. If they're having trouble, they can always raise up her turn. And then if you have Himiko, you can raise up your Himiko. It's a good place to bring in your units that are not as strong in MOC. And then yeah. benefit from building them. Do you like the mode or do you just prefer it to be like a more like chill chill mode it just feels like they made a mode to make you feel better about making to Himi <laughs> getting himiko and uh her and using your hurt Yo, you can't say that man you can't you can't say this people are gonna get upset oh but you say it all the time no no since when i've never said that i think pure fiction is just it's just kind of it needs more work i think pure fiction needs more work essentially I don't think it's a place for people to cope. Um, I feel like it does have potential though, because there's no rule saying pure fiction needs to have five enemies. They could maybe put, let's say, three enemies or put one big chunky thing before getting to the next wave. Right. So right. I think it has potential. Right. Right now, it feels like a <laughs> like build testing. your erudition characters, and then yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I really hope that they start to develop it to like the same standard as Memory of Chaos. Like we get like Pure Fiction 12 or something and make make it not 3 waves, but like 10 waves or like some that crazy shit. sound very friendly, but yeah, I can I mean like, that. it's fun though, it's fun. Like, I, 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 what's the point of like getting a mode that everybody can get 80,000 points, like 80,000 points? It, it doesn't make sense. It's like, free jades uh, for everyone. Okay, everyone can get the jades, but to actually get the full marks, like the full 80,000, they need to actually like work for it. Kind of like how you zero cycle Memory of Chaos. Like making it, uh, having more different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like having more levels basically. Like, like right now, it's like we're, we're kind of like fighting against like MOC 8 or like... But I feel like right now, because of how difficult MOC is, and it makes it kind of better or it makes more sense for them to have this pure fiction mode, which 
comparatively, I would say it's easier. And it makes people feel better about having some characters that are not as strong in okay, Memories yeah. of Chaos. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, do you think MOC is, um, do you think they're taking the uh, right direction with, with regards to the MOC difficulty? It feels fine so far. It doesn't feel like it's a point where you have to pull for this character to clear. But they do, they do do the thing where they just give you really nice buffs if you pull for the character. Like building ratio was free, so then this MLC with the debuffs. If you build your ratio, it, fe it feels like you had a pretty good time. Because you mm. don't need to bring Topaz, you don't need to bring Silver Wolf, and then you just let the memory turbulence apply the debuffs for you. But it makes the it makes the other characters feel bad. Trying Jingen, I think on the free to play accounts where both sides of MOC twelve are lightning resist. And there's mm. like no there's no one to help help out our poor Jingen. <laughs> I kind of wish they added like a buff selector to Memories of Chaos, kind of like in Pure Fiction. Where right. you can choose between like one of two, so it's not like you're forced to play DO DOT or you don't benefit kind of thing. I was actually thinking of the complete opposite, because I'm hoping that they can introduce some kind of debuff to a Memory of Chaos. So like instead of introducing Do you feel like a, it's too easy? I feel like it could be more fun. Not necessarily very easy, but there can be more elements that can go into Memory of Chaos. So like, it actually gets people thinking instead of like, just clearing it as it is. Um, so for example, instead of just giving only weekly buffs, they also include some kind of debuffs, which deters players from using um, similar strategies. So for example, like, okay, like off element enemies, they receive like 20% less damage. So it incentivize players to actually um, go on element or uh, incentivize players to play Silver Wolf once, once again. And I, and I think Silver Wolf is just not in a good spot. So it just opens more more creativity, I guess. But then it makes it, it feel like, at least right now, I feel like the difficulty I'm, all, I'm also my general understanding is I feel like most people have trouble clearing 11 and 12. <laughs> and to add the debuffs, it does sound fun, maybe? I'm not sure how it would make it balanced though. I feel like there's a big divide already between free to play newer players and then people who's played the game since let's say day one okay or... actually, okay looking at chat i think Apple. i'm gonna get i'm gonna get cancelled soon so i'm just gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna shut up about this right i guess it's just my own it's just my own personal opinion it's just my opinion no, right? I, yeah. I think i agree it's always more fun when there's like more challenges but i feel like for the grand in the grand scheme of things when you think about people and just wanting to have access to like being able to clear and then get their jades and then pull for the characters they like do you play other games Are... by the way like elden ring monster hunter this kind of stuff yeah, I think we discussed. I have not finished Elden Ring. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, okay, because my, my thought process is, I feel like as a community, having harder content can generate more discussion or like this sense well, of I feel like, like it's this one thing. I feel like for content creators, you definitely want there to be harder content because then people have to watch your guys to clear the content. <laughs> so I feel like it's always beneficial for all content creators if the content is harder, but it's not beneficial to the general public and the majority of players playing. They would have to balance it so you don't lose jades or it's like extra content for achievements. Yep. Or extra content for some other reward where it's not like, oh, because I'm new to the game and I haven't built my characters correctly, I just lose out on like this much things. Or it, it, it like feels bad. It's hard to balance between like making fun content for everyone, especially the people who've been, who's been playing for a long time. Yep. And then people who just want to clear their stuff and star real and feel good about their characters, even if... Like not everyone wants to look up guides to clear memories of chaos, but it feels like right now you have to, or it's like pretty difficult. Yep, and that's where we get our views, bro. But okay, anyways, <laughs> what what is what what is your I camp? Do. What is your camp? What do you do? You think right now the game is um it's is at a at a good spot, or do you want to wish it was like harder or easier or, or what, what? What do you think? I feel like right now it's in a. It's in a good spot. It introduced pure fiction, though the pure fiction buffs, I think I mentioned, they seem to heavily favor the new characters. They, they really like to buff all the new characters. Like this pure fiction is DOT characters, right? So if you just bring in your one black swan, and then you bring in your harmony characters, you don't need like shampoo or the other ones. You can just auto the real pure fiction. So it makes you, despite how generous Star Rail has been, it feels like the content makes you want to pull for a lot of characters. So you end up feeling like you're you're like taxed on resources. That's I, I feel kinda, like it's not. New. I'm I'm 
I'm I'm fine. I think with the current state of things, but I do feel like some people have a slight misunderstanding of like, oh, Star Wars so generous, but actually, <laughs> they make you pull for the characters because MLC I would say is is difficult. MLC eleven and twelve. No, no, no. You raised a very, very thought provoking thing, which is Hongai Star Wars, despite their generosity, has a higher gacha pooling like incentive for players because of memory of chaos buffs. Yeah, and I feel like let let let's say compared to well, Genshin's not really a good comparison, but there's not much to do in Star Wars after you finish the story, right? Like you yep. you explore, you maybe you do their side yep. quests. Yep, yep, absolutely. And then when the players finish, they're like, okay, what can I do? Memories of Chaos. <laughs> it feels like more of a thing that you have to target because there's not much else to Star Wars. Like in Genshin, you can explore with your friends. You can kind of forget Abyss, which is like the equivalent of Memories of Chaos. You can kind of forget that Abyss exists because you can do a lot of other things. You can fly around and like just chill with your friends, but there's no co-op. You can fly Star around in Pale World, all right? It's all right. We don't have to go to Genshin for that. Yeah, it's all I'm right. Not, just as like that kind of comparison, like there's not too much to do after you finish the story. So then it feels like it makes players feel like they have to clear this end game content. And then it makes them feel more a bit concerned if they're not able to clear MLC 11 and 12. So do you think which, um, Genshin is like, harder or easier, like the end game? I would say it's easier. If d Despite Genshin being not as friendly in terms of the pulls recently, I feel like you don't have to pull. You feel like you're less incentivized to pull for new characters to beat Abyss at least. I feel like Genshin, you can beat the current Abyss with like your 1.0 <laughs> like characters from three, three, three years ago, your four stars. Oh, this is very, very thought provoking because I've actually never thought about this before. Like comparing the pool economy as to how much you actually need a pool in like Stario versus like Genshin. Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to head on over to Jingyuan. Damn. I assume you pair him with Bronya or Asta? I pair him with fast Bronya, but my Bronya is currently tuned to Blade. Oh, okay. Like, so just you basically have not used Jingyuan for Bronya. a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Or I would have to pair him with Asta. Yeah, yeah. But this looks like a really, really good Jingyuan. Like, holy shit. I like Jingyuan. I I've always felt like he was pretty strong. That's good. Same. I, I always thought that he was really strong, but it's just that... Lion Lord was just kind of a annoying to play. And the Lion Lord, just the mechanic, <laughs> feels yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. he's becoming, he's dropping lower and lower just because of this mechanic where right, cause like his Lion Lord just can't come down. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and like <laughs> yeah. People, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just as we get more and more kids, it's it becomes more and more obvious why yeah. Lion Lord is like a a, a weak. <laughs> he feels worse and worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though he he has gotten a lot, a lot of buffs. But all these buffs can also be applied to like your other DPS units. So it, yeah. he's, he's, his Lion Lord just starts to get like... Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, glad that we're on the same page. Okay, anyways, here we go. Uh, um, um, same, same thing as RGT. I, I guess just don't really use her that much. Oh my god. I've been using my Himiko in pure fiction. What, with space ceiling? Okay, but you, I'm assuming you switch around, right? Because I see that you have a lot of um, ropes. No, I, use, I think I use space ceiling. You use space oh. ceiling on Himiko? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have a good fire orb. I'm not sure you can check. I use space ceiling. This is pretty good. It, it's decent, I guess. It's de It's kind of decent. Yeah. Okay, but Salsoto so is just a pain in the ass to farm. So I completely get you. Yeah. Um. Do you use ratio or wealth or inhibitor Lune more? I use them on some of the MLCs. Similarly, the universe. I, I, I think I tried out ratio during after he released on the MLCs. Right, right, right. It was pretty fun. Are you a grinder for like simulated universe slash golden gears? Or... No, I don't have my I don't have my slave like you to man pick for me. Where do you get that information from? You told me yourself. <laughs> nah, that's not me. Topaz. Also pretty decent. I I think it's it's like when it comes to crit DPS, there's not a lot of like Rigor room because you kind of just want the same for everyone. You kind of just want like yeah. 80 crit rate, 160, 170 crit damage, and like, some speed, some attack, and then like you're just mm -hmm. good to go. Okay. Ah, this silly is actually insane. You have 72, <laughs> 200 on Glamoth. Holy 
Holy shit! Like the... <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine if this two swapped? Like, can you imagine if this chest got like 34 crit damage on the chest? That would be actually insane. Yeah. And then you I get know. like a double crit here. Oh my god, that would be, <laughs> that would be actually insane. I know. Oh, I mean, you try it. I mean, two, two is still pretty good. Uh huh. Damn. Yeah, I think getting getting one <laughs> getting one roll into crit damage on your crit rage has fees is pretty lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it's a one in four, right? So like any roll yeah. will work. Any roll will work. But oh my god, this boots though, like holy shit, this is crazy. This is actually you know what? I'm gonna take a, take a, take a, take a screenshot of this real quick. Hold up. Let me take a screenshot of this. Yeah, I still remember when I rolled this on stream. You really have a nice screen screen screenshot posing puff this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you always, I always see these different ones and it feels I always thought you you use like this that like a preset picture, but you actually just have the pose down and then yeah, you just I just, I just yeah, on the spot like boom, I just I just, like I just you get have the done. same yeah. <laughs> I have the same face, yeah, genuinely. <laughs> I, I, I've mastered I have mastered the no wing face. Like. I love the expression. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, just roll better. All right, but anyways, um, have you found any crit issues so far? Because I'm assuming you run her full strength. This is going to be an 84% crit, right? I like, have even so oh, oh my god, you filthy, filthy whale. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, you have no crit issue. Okay, this is actually an insane scene. Okay, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll shut the f up. Yep, okay. Um, yep, no comments. This is actually insane. Damn. What? What is, what is this? Oh, there's a rainbow piece. Okay, okay. Oh, my rainbow, Duncan. Is this tree rose? Holy shit! Okay, Ariel, your 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 relics, man. Okay, this. Kind I of feed all. My, I feed all my five stars. You feed all your no. five stars. Uh, I feed all the the bad substats one versus like salvaging them. Oh, uh, okay, like okay, okay. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, damn. When are you ever gonna activate his idol in two? Maybe soon. I, I, I feel like because he uh has his, his E2. I saw some of your E2 downhand videos. It looks pretty fun. I like the. Oh, the it, E2. It, it doesn't just look fun. Uh, trust me. It, it, it's genuinely fun. Like, do you wanna just clear, clear? Or do you wanna pick mints in like two seconds? With E2 in, in Bibliothek Lane, you can! Because everything just dies! Like, it, yeah, it is really fun. I, I I'm actually thinking about, like, uh, for another content in the future, when, like, mm -hmm. Sparkle drops, I'm thinking of doing, like, a... Like, a three-man zero cycle with E2 Dunhang Sparkle and, like, a, I don't know, like, a, like, Bronya or Ramen or something. Um... Jing Liu. Okay, compared to the rest of your... Okay, never mind, I take it back. Because <laughs> she's on four piece as well. I was about to say, compared to the rest of your units, your Jing Liu is actually... She looks, like... Not as strong, but considering that you have a four piece genius, okay, it's actually pretty, it's pretty good. Well, my genius pieces weren't, I think I had um, to split them between her and yeah, her still are right. Yeah, so like, you, you can definitely yeah. get, get a better piece. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, yo, it's oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay, yeah, and like, this is not even like your best piece because like the most of the pieces are on Scylla, so like this can go like even better, Blade. Okay, genuinely, I think this blade is... Wait, do you say this blade is bad? Because he doesn't look bad at all. Well, he... I I think he would look better if you swap him to HP boots. I put him on speed boots for farming purposes. I think my HP boots are probably better. <laughs> I try to farm the blade to 200 plus, and I think you can get there with the HP boots. His speed boots, if you check the HP one. I think the 17... I think this one. Okay, the 5, 5 17. Alright. Damn! Damn, damn, damn. Actually insane, Blade. Um, and because you do have your E2, I believe. Yeah, E2. This is like yeah, basically 100%. 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, holy shit. You know, like most of the time when we when, when I actually do like account audits, it's the, like the, the, the accounty, the account owner, like usually they have like genuine issues. Shout out to my first account. <laughs> okay, technically it's not really my first account audit. It's like an account review. A shout out to me, fool you. Oh my god, yo, like, and, 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 like, comparing this account, and like, oh. I don't think she's watching the stream, but yeah. Insane account. Genuinely insane account. Do you use Clara? Clara, mm hmm but I don't, I don't have a good, I don't think I farm that much physical. ER Clara, okay. Yeah, okay, I always thought that ER Clara is, is a good thing, because like, when you I get hit, you get- I think it's better. Right, because you already have Imagine. so much attack, so you might as well just get more ER, then you can get the ultimate time, because ultimate is pretty important. Mm-hmm. 
Right, okay, okay, okay. Good, this is good, this is good. I, if, I think if I'm not wrong, if you run her with four piece to launch first, you can, you can kind of get like a healthier crit subs because of the 16% crit rate. Oh, like, yeah, probably. Yeah, you can probably longevity just, said it's better. Yeah, you can probably just slip on a blade set or like whatever you say you have lying around. Better than your four piece physical. Because physicals, this this four piece event is not even, not, not even that great. It's like 25% attack, which is like, what? Like, who cares? So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just my opinion. No way. No way. I like Tyrion. Stop. <laughs> and you even hit the 30 years as well. Yo, genuinely, I think this is the best, almost the best team unit I've seen in my entire life. I'm honored. Oh my god, this. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Dude, how is his HP so high? Like, what do you even... Why? How do you even get... How do you even get 4k HP with, like, 3.4k? Oh my god, dude. You know what? I think the light cone. The light cone has base... base higher base HP. Yeah, yeah, definitely because of the light cone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I mean, I could I wouldn't really know because most of the time, I always run my sustains. I, I don't pull any sustain light cones just because I don't think I would use sustain that much in the first place. Do you try zero cycles yourself? No, I haven't. But I've been more interested. I think. So you, I just, you, you, <laughs> you just get god just tier relics. You just get god tier relics, refuse to elaborate, and then you just leave. You just don't even try zero cycle. You just want to flex to the people that you've got tier relics. Ah, ah, I don't, I don't even give a shit about zero cycles. I, I, I can just do this. No, I don't think I, I don't, I, I don't think I flex. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, today I can flex for you. You can, you can, you can just say Mr. Pokey <laughs> flex my account. All right, you can just say I flex for you. I know you always wanted to flex, but you can't like ruin that, that impression, you know. But like, you know, I, I got you, man. I got you. I, I'm I'm your flex translator, right? <laughs> so if you ever need a <laughs> wanna, wanna flex, you can just refer them to this. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Um Hanya. Okay, personally I actually don't use Hanya like almost at all. At much at all. I, I don't have a Well, Hanya, remember how I told you you tried pulling for Shrey and I tried pulling for Hanya? Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 I, I remember. But you like, have more? Yeah. Yeah, I was but like, to even. Build her and then I gave up. Even until now, I just don't find a place where I can actually slot Hanya in. I just feel like she do not fit into like most team comps. Like, most of the time, if I was thinking of running Hanya, I would might as well just run like Team Yun, Pella, Bronya, um, or like Asta. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, so like she doesn't really fit into anything. <laughs> Moving on. Oh yeah, same. I was, it's also been a been a hot minute since I used Yukong. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I think I like using her with mostly with Clara. I like the Clara team. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But you also don't use her as much, right? Yeah. So like, it's been a, it's been a while. I, I I can get you. Um, damn, one sixty. Do you still use Asta ever since Rame came out? Maybe when I want to play my slow Jimin and I don't want to change my Brian's relics. Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. Oh man, it, it's kind of crazy that you like have almost everyone geared. I don't even think you care about the rest of the units, right? Because I, I feel like I just ge generally don't use them that much anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, like, you after that, did you build QQ? Are you gonna use? Do you plan to play QQ with Sparkle or no? Um. Okay, I have my QQ built because i i use her for pvp like the tamaya's cup thingy so i have her built but like um oh, right, you don't like qq you look down on her okay wait i don't <laughs> i don't look down on anyone that sounds like a very bad thing to say right? that sounds like a very bad thing to say i don't look down on qq i just think that she inherently has some flaws in her kit right like i think the whole four of a kind the tau situation the mahjong situation there, it just adds way too many RNG layers for me as a player to enjoy them to my comfort because uh, the only RNG I want to care about is like crit RNG or like the RNG of getting hit. I don't want to yeah, care the about- QQ, The QQ RNG is kind of annoying because then yeah. you do, you're, you're just forced to reset, retry, reset, retry if you get unlucky. Yo, clip that, right? Not my words. Not my words. Clip that from the CN Mastermind Overlord Sweet Elite, right? I'm gonna take you out for a spin in Memory of Chaos, and I think that's pretty much G. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, no, I just say that I just see a lot of like Billy Billy. Holy shit! Okay, never mind. Yeah, okay, it's definitely run native. I'll be genuinely so upset if if there's no zero cycle here. But the, 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 the year is a bit tough too. Can nah, I think it's possible. It? I think. Why? Oh my god, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh my god, me. no, I can't get it. Because I don't even have the. Oh, wait, wait, no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It might be possible. It might be possible. Skill OT? Yeah, skill. Yeah, basically. This thing, and then we have a full up attack. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Okay, this has to kill. Okay, if this doesn't kill, it's cause of that 1%, essentially. <laughs> it is genuinely cause of that 1%. Ah, alright. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, okay, I right. believe. Yeah. Okay. 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 We got yeah, it. yeah. 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 We got it. Yeah. Hey. Nice. Okay. Okay. Even nice, with nice, the one percent. Nice. Even with the one percent, Jane. That's that's how strong E six made this. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah. I, I think that is pretty much it. Um. Do you have any anything more to say? Which character do you think is my best character? I mean, I've only seen Blade so far, like in action, in action. Uh, I think this Blade is absolutely correct. But in terms of build, like in actual terms of like crit value, I think your Scylla is the best. Like the best DPS, I think it's going to be Scylla. With the with the E1, with the full strength, this is basically 100% to 200, 3.3k. Mm. And you have the quant um, this quantum damage boost with all the speed buff. I think this is genuinely like, really, really good. Um, best support, I would say, is your team. This team is absolutely <laughs> insane. Even though there's no reason to be this fast, like, there's no reason to be yeah. this fast. There's no reason, but hey, you still you just have it because like because 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 why not? And it's just impressive. It's a very very impressive build. Um, and for sustain, I think all the sustain they're generally okay. I think Huan Huan is also really really good. Right, one sixty speed and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. What's your what's your proudest unit? I think the three that you covered. I guess I'm pretty happy with my Jimin, even though he's not getting a lot of time, <laughs> screen time. <laughs> the poor Jimin getting targeted based on his mechanics. He just can't. He just can't. I feel like it's hard. It's like impossible to to have. Star Real just can't fix you just can't fix his mechanics. Nah, I can fix him. <laughs> I can <laughs> fix him. <laughs> um, let me turn my uh we need this ah uh, yes, brighter. Yes, very good. Alright, let's go. 30 pools. Probably. Okay, what force are do you want? <laughs> me, Nisha? Nisha? Alright, I'm not even gonna stall. <laughs> We're warming up. We're warming up, you know? We're warming up. Warming up? Two four stars? Yeah, right. Two four. This is this basically two poos because of the the shards? So honestly, it's, 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 it's all right. You know, it's two poos, right? Oh! Wait, what happened? <laughs> Nothing happened. Oh my god! <laughs> another, another teaming. Okay, but I feel the next one might be it. No, yeah, okay, you, can, you can go one more. Okay, one last one. Right? One last one. One last one. Because the because because of the sixty nine, you know, like it's an internet phenomenon. So so I, I I'm really really feeling it. And you have and you have all the mommies out. Absolutely. All right. So, one last one. Okay. You know what? We we were building pity. All right. We were we were building pity. <laughs> I mean. I mean. Okay. Genuinely, Sparkle's four star. Generally Sparkle's four star is not even good. All right. Star, Sparkle Sparkle banners four star. They're not even good. At least for this banner, you know, you can get a couple of decent four stars. Like. <laughs> Like Ting Which four? <laughs> Which four star do we? <laughs> yeah, like Ting Yun. Okay, I genuinely feel this is an S. Not just for like Sweetly, but but <laughs> also genuinely. 
But also genuinely, this is like an S, like genuinely. So I would say it is the best account I've seen so far on account audits. You have like your DPS order, you have your E6 blade, you have your sustain, you have like a 186 speed teammate for like God knows why. You have all the you have all the good light cones, <laughs> and you you have like multiple islands. You you're ready for Sparkle. You're ready for Sam. You're like yeah, this is a this is a really 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 good account. So yeah, absolutely insane. Oh, thank you. And with that, we've come to the end of this account audit featuring Sweetly or Ariel. Uh, excellent, excellent VTuber and content creator. Uh, if you guys want to check out her content, that's going to be twitch.tv forward slash sweetly. And yeah, any last words for chat before we move on? I guess thank you for watching the video since this will be going up on YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow Mr. Pokey on all his platforms. All right, so with that, we've come to the end of today's content. If you guys want to talk more about Hongai Star Rail, feel free to check out my Discord at Pokey's Village. We have a very active community talking about Hongai Star Rail on a daily basis. If you want to check out my stream, uh, head on over to twitch.tv slash MrPokey, as well as the YouTube channels, right? So that's all I have for today. All the best for Gacha Pools, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Bye, chat. I, I, I genuinely cannot believe this shit. I genuinely cannot believe this shit. I genuinely... I genuinely cannot believe this shit, guys. I ge- Did I say I genuinely- I, I, Did I say how I genuinely cannot believe this shit? I genuinely cannot believe this shit, guys.